Territorial Communications Manager with Clearance Jobs, and you are tuning in to ClearCast. Uh, so today we're going to be highlighting some of the highest voted veteran friendly employers. And I have Jilly Ham, aka Jill Hamilton, here with me today to run through some of those. So, Jill, how are we doing today? Are you all caught up from the holiday last week? No, not not really, but that's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It was a good holiday. It's, it's okay to step away and take that time and then try to hit the ground running. But the week has, you know, whenever you have a Monday off and then the rest of the week, it, it's almost like every day I'm like, what day is it? I, I actually don't know. Yes. <laughs> so it's fine though. It's good. I completely agree. Yeah. I Everyone needs to take the day. And when you see emails come through, you're like, why aren't you taking the time off? But uh, it is hard to get back into the swing of things. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's all good. Yeah, no, at Labor Day, people, we're all working hard so we can play hard. <laughs> uh, so uh, today we're going to be running through, like I said, a veteran friendly employers list. Uh, this is from U.S. Veterans Magazine. So they recently released the results of its evaluation of some of the best of the best top veteran friendly companies. So they pulled hundreds of companies for this year's awards. And the goal is to open up employment um, opportunities within the federal government and corporate America for veterans, uh, transitioning service members, mill spouses. And so while the full list includes, again, that corporate America, we decided to pull the defense contractors or those employers that have jobs that require security clearances or do any work with the government. So we'll be doing a speed round highlighting 25 of those employers that made the list. But of course, you can read the full list at news.clearancejobs.com. So Jill, I think you're kicking us off today with number one. I am. So number one is ADS. And so they are a military equipment supplier. They primarily serve the Navy SEALs with diving equipment. And then they have a lot of different suppliers and partnerships with that. Um, so you get the jobs there with tactical equipment, procurement, logistics, they support government contracts. And that is ADS at number one. Very cool. At number two. Air Force Reserve Command. So uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Air Force Reserve Command is going to be the contracting activity for, uh, you know, a lot of those contracts that are going to have work within the sky or supporting the airmen and women that support the Air Force. Um, so plenty of job opportunities uh, and very veteran friendly uh, naturally. So that's number two. Nice. So number three, there's aviation training consulting. Um, so I think the name says it all, but they work with um, training uh, in the aviation world and obviously supporting military customers and um they hire a lot of seasoned and proven veterans who are good at aviation consulting, training development, engineering, um, so they can keep up with, you know, what's actually needed out there. Um, so that is Aviation Training Consulting, LLC. Excellent. Number four, we have CDW. So CDW Corporation. Uh, they're a provider of technology products and services for business, the government, and education. So one of those employers that is going to have security clearance job openings. But if you want to take a break and know that you have mobility within a company, you can move to other sectors and support some of that work um, and then hop back on to some of the security clearance required jobs. So that is CDW. Nice. And so at number five, we have Comcast, which you may think that that is just to be your internet provider or to get you ESPN, but that is not the case. <laughs> um, they also offer support for military bases, modernizing systems. Um, and so when you think of like with getting all like um, systems out there, um, they obviously have to have um, connectivity. So, um, there's a lot of work for veterans and you could be at Comcast. So yeah, 
not just for your ESPN watching. (laughs) I love that one. Uh, Well, and again, companies that are working in both the, uh, you know, the commercial and the government side of things, it provides a ton of opportunities for veterans. Right, right. All right. So at number six, we have Dell Technologies. So uh, I have a Dell computer myself. Um, So they have federal capabilities as well, which again, putting their, they're dipping their toes in the uh, commercial and the, uh, the uh, defense contracting side. Um, So they provide, uh, you know, hardware, software support, um, and uh, with uh, taking a look at an agency's uh, IT systems and processes and ensuring that their data is secure. Um, so that is Dell Technologies. Nice. Number seven is Fortinet. Um, so they are they have network security, obviously. So if you're in cybersecurity, especially while you're still in military as you tr- transition out, this would be a great organization to sync up with uh, providing cybersecurity services, um, large company um, offering services to enterprise wide solutions. So your bigger companies all the way down to like your small businesses, they support the federal government. There's a lot of different work that you can do within networking, cybersecurity, cloud ac- applications to put a lot of the skills and certifications that you earned in the while you're in the military put them into use right when you get out. So um, that's a great one to check out. Excellent. Keeping those skills, honing in on those skills, translating those skills. I love it. So next up we have Honeywell. Uh, So I remember Honeywell for some of the difficult to fill contracts in certain locations that weren't necessarily the DC hub for when you're looking for cleared talent. I would try to pull from Honeywell because again, they both work in the commercial world as well as the defense contracting side. So they work in a ton of different industries. So if you're a veteran looking for some variety, Honeywell is a great option for you. They work in aerospace. Um, they do chemicals, materials. They even do healthcare, uh, manufacturing, uh, retail, supply chain. So the job opportunities are plentiful with Honeywell and they are the number, what number are we at, Jill? Number uh, eight. Number eight. I, mean, I, just, I just looked back for mine. I'm like, oh, where are we? <laughs> yeah. So Honeywell, um, number eight uh, on our list from for veteran yes. friendly em- employers. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're up to number nine, Huntington Ingalls Industry. Um, so they are into shipbuilding. Um, there's a lot of a bunch of different locations for them, but um, obviously, so especially if you're coming out of the Navy, it'd be a great um, place to connect there. But they've been around for a very long time. Um, different divisions for them, but they're in Virginia, Mississippi, and have built more ships in more ship classes than any other U.S. naval shipbuilder. Wow. So uh, that is Huntington Ingalls Industries at number nine. So you're at number 10 next. <laughs> number 10. Uh, so Intuitive Research and Technology Corporation. Um, so they're headquartered in Huntsville, Alabama, actually, which we've been seeing a ton in the defense contracting space. Uh, if you're looking for work, uh, Huntsville may be in your future. So Intuitive Research and Technology Corporation, they are uh, working with technology, other management solutions, uh, a couple of different industries that they support, um, really focused on uh, program support, uh, providing sort of the full management process um, for a few different agencies and, again, in the commercial sector as well. So that is Intuitive Research and Technology Corporation. Nice. So number 11 is Johnson Controls Incorporated. And so what they are really focused in on um, is smart building technology. So incorporating, you know, your HVAC, your fire detection, um, your energy storage, digital solutions, um, building automations, security systems, all those things working and firing 
uh, correctly. Um, and so, and they've been around for a long time, over 30 years and a larger, larger corporation supporting the federal government, as well as a lot of other companies. And they are number 11 on the top 25 list for veteran friendly. Excellent. So number 12, yeah. MSA Security. So they are actually America's largest TSA certified cargo screening canine provider. So mm -hmm. if you love if you love the pups, um, but you're looking to uh, support, you know, an agency like TSA um, from a subcontracting standpoint, uh, MSA Security is a very cool company. So they're combining the x-ray technology for the screening again, also the canine units. Um, but they are uh, best of the best employer for veterans. And they have a couple other veteran accolades to check out. So that's MSA Security. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool to know stuff like that, where like, especially if you had canines, you know, in your military experience mm -hmm. um, and you really enjoyed that. And then it, finding locations or jobs or companies that you can transition out of the military, but then still do some of the work that you like, have some, a lot of overlap with that. Um, I think it's pretty cool. So there you go. And so what's next? Number 13, we are halfway through. So a little bit over halfway now. It's Newport News Shipbuilding, which is actually a subset or um, subdivision of Huntington Ingalls Industries. So both organizations rank there highly. Um, so Newport News is in Virginia specifically. So you're looking at more around the Norfolk region and great company for shipbuilding and aircraft carriers. Um, they work in submarines. So um, definitely a good organization to check out. That was Excellent. 13. All right. So next we have Navy Exchange Command So or Nexcom. Um, so they are providing uh, military, uh, well, individuals um, with goods and services at a savings uh, to support the Navy quality of life programs for active duty military, retirees, reservists, and their families. And so this one I actually found very interesting as I was looking over the website as a part of Navy and all of the different subsets of the Navy organization, they have quite a few cleared openings listed on their website. So that is Nexcom, Navy Exchange Command. Cool. Number 15 is Oak Ridge Associated Universities. So what they do is they offer scientific and technical solutions um, in science, education, security, and health fields. So they have, they hire experts, they have labs, um, and a lot of PhD, they work with major PhD granting organizations, institutions, um, as well as federal, state, local, commercial customers to, to focus on national priorities and things that are important to the public. Um, so I think especially like Department of Energy, um, providing solutions for them and working with like science education, workforce development, protecting health and the environment. Um, so that is Oak Ridge Associated Universities. Excellent. Oak Ridge. Uh, so next up on the docket, we have Omni Technologies. Um, so they are a company that's going to be working in cybersecurity, cyber compliance, cloud computing, content delivery, and infrastructure. Uh, they also do some DevOps uh, in engineering work. Um, so anything within sort of the software development life cycle, you're going to find at Omni Technologies. Um, so they have quite a few openings that all of our veterans um, should check out. So Omni Technologies. Awesome. Number 17 is Oshkosh Defense. Um, so, I always think of Oshkosh. Uh, great. Gosh. <laughs> so I was going to say that, but I was like, oh, is, that, is that okay? Um, yeah, I think of the overalls, but um, now as an adult, I don't anymore. But um, sure. so, yeah, so they are they obviously they make military vehicles and mobility systems. So if you think of all the tactical vehicles of the different sizes and capabilities that you would have 
driven around in while in the military, if you were out in the field, um, then you might have been in one of these vehicles from Oshkosh. Mm -hmm. And so you can have the opportunity to go and and work on them. You know, they have a lot of cool thing, like even autonomous technology. So if that's... You know, AI and machine learning and even like elements like different engineering tracks are in your background. Um, this could be a really cool organization to check out, um, along with a lot of other options. So whenever you're building vehicles, there's different manufacturing, there's logistics, um, there's a lot of variety of, op- of options to choose from. So that is Oshkosh Defense at number 17. Wonderful. So number 18 kind of feeds into that pretty well. So uh, Parker Hannafin, uh, they actually are providing some of the little nuts and bolts that are required for some of the that hardware. Um, so this, they work, some of their products include anything that has to do uh, with aerospace, uh, but they're also looking at filters fittings, generators, piping. Um, so the manufacturing, some of those pieces, but the different industries that they work in um, are anything that would require that. So aerospace, um, electronics, semiconductors. So if you're working in a lab, in a cleared lab, they also work in healthcare and life sciences, HVAC and refrigeration, uh, chemical processing. So a uh, big company that works in many industries um, that veterans should certainly check out. So that's Parker Hannafin. Um, Parker.com is their website. Nice. All right. So number 19 is PWC. So their consulting organization. Um, they have, have both cyber solutions as well as consulting services that they have to offer. So again, if cyber has been in your background in your military career, it's a great organization to check out. But they offer cloud, and digital capabilities, cybersecurity, privacy support, um, risk management. Um, if you like the idea of ta- working with an organization, like helping them transform from one technology to the next and walking them through that change management process. Um, this would be a good organization to check out. And that is PWC. All right. I love it. So next up yeah. we have robo team. So robo team. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's great. I really like this company and I loved, you know, researching it. Um, So anybody who's worked in sort of unmanned uh, ground vehicles or systems would find this work to be really interesting uh, or, you know, an extension of your military career. Um, So Robo Team, they uh, robots that address real human needs and save lives. Um, So they do work with uh, the U.S. military. But um, they work with a few other countries as well. So they have a couple of, you could check out some of the different robots um, that they have uh, going on on their website. So they have their micro tactical ground system uh, robot. They have the ultralight iris robot. So uh, I encourage everyone to check that out. Again, anyone who's worked with unmanned vehicles within the U.S. military might find that work interesting. Yeah. I feel like that's a good when you show up to a party and people are like, so what do you do? Where do you work? I work for Robo Team. Robo like it's a good team. conversation yeah. starter, you know, like some places it's harder to like actually go with anywhere. Like they're like, oh, cool. They just heck, don't even want to ask more questions, you know, but right. Robo Team, they're going to want to ask questions. So <laughs> yeah, very cool application. I'm- yeah. I mean, for <laughs> something that you've done in the military, like I feel like a lot of folks yeah. in the military, you know, they, they're they not sure what to do next. They're not sure if their MOS necessarily can translate to a civilian career. Robo Team, it's a natural fit. Natural fit, of course. (laughs) All right. Number 21 is Salesforce. What's really cool about this one on the list is uh, like sometimes you can transfer out of the military and you can go directly to a company, but like Salesforce is actually like, you know, all throughout in so many different companies. um, And they really help uh, companies manage their customer relationships Mm -hmm. um, and know what opportunities are out there, what sales teams are um, going after, which 
which opportunities or which contracts and uh, proposals. Um, and so really you are helping with a tool that helps a lot of companies in the defense industry manage what um, opportunities are out there. Um, so, but yeah, from analytics, if you have some analytics uh, backgrounds, um, as well as engineering, um, of course, I'm sure they have like sales options as well. Um, there's just a lot of different job opportunities that you can get with Salesforce and they rank decently for a top company for veterans to look into when they're they're making that transition. So Salesforce. Yeah. Well, and like you said, a cool company to be, I, I mean, getting into tech after your military career, um, if you're looking to pivot, tech is obviously a, a big choice mm -hmm. where we're only going to see that increase within the def defense industry. Or if you're looking to find some work outside of the defense industry, it'll only increase there as well. But uh, finding one that is so ingrained in our processes, like proposal processes um, or managing those relationships, it's a very cool mixture of a few different components that I think military, uh, former military personnel could apply their skill sets to. For sure. For sure. Excellent. So next we have uh, Siemens, actually. And, you know, I was interested to f see this one on the list um, only because I, di I didn't think that they did a ton of work in the U.S., uh, maybe that I just live under a rock. Um, but I didn't think they were going to have any cleared openings. And sure enough, they do. Um, hmm. So, yeah, veterans, if you're looking for... Um, for a company, Siemens USA uh, is right up your alley. They work in engineering, manufacturing, R&D, IT. They have sales and marketing openings, operations openings. Um, but they're about, uh, so uh, the industries they work in uh, can be anywhere from software, uh, financing. They call another one health and ears. I'll have to look that one up. Uh, health, health engineers, um, energy, mm -hmm. uh, building technologies and automation. So another sort of large company where you can find that security, uh, job security and stability, uh, following your uh, military transition. So that's Siemens on the list. That's great. Um, so number 23, I hope I pronounced this correctly, is Sodexo. Yeah. Um, so they are a large federal food service contractor, um, which I think is really great if you've probably lived through the experience of eating in the military sure. <laughs> and what that has felt like, you know, joining a company that can actually um, bring about wellness and the overall health and well-being of the military through specifically through food um, is great. So I would expect to be on different military bases, still be close to a lot of the different, like, you know, find different places that maybe you liked being um, and then just supporting the military in a different way. So that is number 23. Well, and what I love about Sodexo is they are actually thinking a top secret cleared chef right now, or a few. Um, <laughs> I just find that so cool. You know, you're 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 like doing the artistic. Uh, my husband's a chef, so I, I love that piece of it. But you know, I have a top secret security clearance. Yeah, you know, I love. And that. they do more than just and. Yeah. And they do more than the food services too, with facility management. Um, there's just a lot that goes into supporting military bases. Yeah. Um, but that is cool to be a chef. And I'm sure it's one of the things that you never thought you'd do is be a chef and right. have a clearance. So especially if you're coming out of the military and you already have that clearance um, and you have some culinary dreams, you don't have to be a master chef. Right. <laughs> you could just come work here and, um, use both, you know, so Love that's that. great. Excellent. All right. So we're getting down to the wire. Number 24 on our list, Verizon Communications. So Verizon, everyone is familiar with the company. They do quite a bit of work for the federal government. Um, so anyone who's looking for a veteran, but if you're, uh, you know, transitioning out of the military, you're looking to work in any facet of the communications 
sort of uh, life cycle, uh, Verizon is a veteran friendly employer, according to many. Um, so check out those. And again, they do t technology solutions for federal agencies as well. So if you're looking to utilize that clearance, Verizon has defense contracts up their sleeve. So that is number 24. Number 24. Yes. Okay. So last one. Um, good job making it all the way through the list for our listeners. This is great. Number 25 is Ziders Enterprises Incorporated. Um, so they are a veteran owned uh, government contractor and they provide um, human services solutions to for military and veteran communities. So they are based in the DC area. Um, so not, I mean, it's outside of DC proper, but um, Prince William County. And so they're really looking at quality of life within the military um, and for the veteran community. So they look at different workforce needs, program, it, program support, and just looking at um, in, improving the, the quality of life um, in daily operations. So whether that's while you're in the military or after that. So if you have a real passion for that, bringing about change, um, for future service members, this is a great organization for you to look into to find um, a career with them. So that was number 25. And 60% of their employees are military affiliated, 30% are military spouses, and 25% are veterans. So I think one of the things I've heard before is just when you when you transition out and you just you're you're learning another language in so many different ways. And to not be daunted by that, but it's so helpful if there's just a little bit of carryover. The people that you're talking to understand a bit what you're saying. I, was, I remember talking to one individual who she went to a um, career fair, struck out like the first two. And by the third one, met somebody who was also, I think she was Navy. They were both Navy. And it just made the conversation easier. She'd done all the legwork ahead of time, but it just was so much more natural. Mm -hmm. um, so I think finding an organization where there are other veterans and mil military spouses, and there's just an, an understanding of what you've walked through a little bit, even though every experience is unique and different. Um, I think that could be helpful. So sure. It's the common bond. Uh, and, and that's a great point as you're transitioning for, through the military. And you're having those conversations with potential employers. Ask about what veteran specific benefits they have. Ask if they have a veteran resource group or an employee resource mm -hmm. resource group. Uh, a lot of companies nowadays are going to tout some of their. Uh, while you know, diver veterans may not be a diverse candidate within the Department of Defense because you know there's a ton of veterans that have security clearances. Veterans still bring a diversified. Uh, perspective to an organization. And a lot of these organizations are touting having these employee resource groups that are there to help out the military community, mill spouses, veterans. Um, so ask about those as you're going yeah. through the transition and, you know, networking to find what employer you want to work with. Because it also helps you find mentors as well. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard a number of people mention just how important mentorship has been and having somebody who is transitioned out of the military, gotten a job, advanced in their career. Um, you might not do things the same way, but hearing their story can help you translate. Be like, oh, I should actually do this. That was good for them, but not this part. <laughs> you know, this is what I, my, I personally need. And it just kind of can help you um, just along the way, I think. So that's sure. a good, good point on, the, on those resource groups to look for. Absolutely. Well, everyone, you made it through the 25 that we chatted about today on the Clearance Jobs podcast, Cleared Cast. The U.S. Veterans Magazine, they released the best of the best top veteran-friendly employers. We pulled the defense contractors or those that work with the government or have security clearance openings so you can view the full list at news.clearancejobs.com. As always, if you have any questions about the military transition, any veteran career advice, you can reach out to us at editor at clearancejobs.com.